As a mill town in the center of Maine, Lewiston became home to thousands of Canadian immigrants. They came to Maine in search of a better life, a place where they could work and raise their families. In time, the mills shut down, and the Roman Catholic Diocese closed the church where many of those immigrants worshipped. In recent years, though, Lewiston has started to turn around the fortunes of its downtown, and as Amanda reports, at the heart of it is an old church which celebrates the Franco-American culture that is part of Lewiston's history and the new immigrant community that represents part of its future. Each year, the Emerge Film Festival attracts thousands to the city of Lewiston. When it first started happening, I was part of the arts community, part of just part of the community, and I'm like, wow, this, these are filmmakers from all over the world and, and, and all, all around the country. Um, and they were here too. And it, At the heart of that festival is this former church, now the Gendron Franco Center. There's no other place in central Maine that hosts as many events, performance events, as does the Franco Center. Mitch Thomas is the executive director of the center, which hosts pretty much anything in the area, from weddings to musical performances to adult prom. At its core, the center is a gathering place for community, which is how this beautiful space itself got its humble beginnings. The space we're sitting in now, it was the sanctuary of the St. Mary's Catholic Church, which was a, a parish that was created by the local people in this neighborhood who were working in the mills, the many mills here in this part of Lewiston. And they wanted their own parish that they could walk to, basically, after working all six days a week. Those mill workers weren't making much money back in 1907, but what they could save went into this space. It took 20 years to complete. We talked to people every week. My mother was married there. My, my, uh, my, mother's, my father's funeral was there. I was baptized there. I was an altar boy here, and um, uh, the sacristy is stage right. And we uh, dressed in the sacristy. And we also, I also uh, served mass at 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Ooh. Yeah, we left a, I left the apartment, went to uh, the convent next door, and uh, served mass at 5.30 in, and I did get my nickel. <laughs> you uh, got a nickel I got that. a nickel, nickel and mass. Richard Martin grew up just across the street from the church in what's known as Little Canada. He grew up in this church, as did a lot of people still living in Lewiston, which is why when the Catholic Church decided to deconsecrate it in 2000, the townspeople couldn't bear to let it go. They were going to demolish the church, Folks in the Franco-American community got together and said, that's our church. Our moms and dads and grandparents built it. We'd like to, to uh, maintain this beautiful building if we can. And they did with a handshake and a dollar bill exchange. They got it. And then they said, what are we going to do with it now? <laughs> what they did was make it the event space it is today. A volunteer board was formed, and then executive director Rita S. Duby helped raise millions of dollars to renovate the space. We are the Gender and Franco Center for heritage and the performing arts. But it, the idea is that yes, we're the Franco Center, but we're here for everyone's heritage and anyone and everyone's performing arts. If there was going to be an Irish Heritage Day in uh, Lewiston or a Somali Heritage Day, uh, uh, the Djiboutins, the people from the Djiboutin community have held their national day of celebration here many times. <laughs> Politicians have held rallies here, from newly elected Congressman Jared Golden to former First Lady Barbara Bush. We've had uh, other presidential candidates here on this stage. You know, we could go on and on about the, the people who have been in this building and, and who um, ha have spoken here or performed here. But it's just pretty, pretty remarkable. However remarkable the growth of the center continues to be, it remains true to its roots, hosting a gathering for the French-speaking members of the community once a month, offering French classes to the young and field trips to Canada. And you'll find remnants of what once was in the Rita S. Doobie Heritage Museum. The cradle that was born in was here, yeah. Really? Where is it? It's downstairs. It's not, okay, well, we'll have to <laughs> Along with a nod to the gray nuns who once ruled this church. Now, a healthy mix of the past and present times of Lewiston. It's a full circle for me. So I was baptized here, and I think I'll be retiring from here. So it's all kind of really good. 
The Emerge Film Festival in Lewiston is going on now through Saturday. It presents films from Maine and beyond. The Franco Center is one of the festival's venues. You'll find more about what's going on at the Emerge Film Festival and the Gender and Franco Center in the 207 section of our website.